Hello everybody, this is Video Screencast number 7. So, I'm going to show you how you make your own custom icon in Photoshop that you can use. And I've noticed almost everybody's tutorial, they've made their own custom icon, I think. They might have downloaded them, but they've made their own custom icon. And like this one right here, you can see, we'll go ahead and open up its actual icon. You'll notice that it's a box, because that's the style apparently. And it has something in it, and it has some type of icon to indicate, hey, this is the downloads box. So that's what I thought I'll do, and I'll make a video on how to do it. So you can see mine's boring, it's grey, and you know, but um, it, it gets the point. So this is it, it's very, very easy. It may look hard, but it's very easy. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I did, I took a picture of my dock um, a downloads folder, you know, just do the full screen zoom, get it right, right there, so it's nice and big, and crop it out. Okay, so now you want to make a new image, make it 512 by 512, because that is the largest size icon for my dock. Um, so I wanted to make it nice and big, so if somebody has a huge magnification dock that goes up to 512 pixels, it looks good. Okay, so um, take your custom shape tool and just drag out a nice big square it doesn't have to be perfect um, that's something I struggle with but it doesn't have to be perfect so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to rasterize this layer and name it to the front because this is going to be the front of the box and we're going to add a gradient overlay to it and I'm going to lighten this grey up to about Right there, if you care for the hex code, it's 8C, 8C, 8C. Then I'm going to add a stroke to it and make the size 1 pixel and move it to the inside of this. I think that's necessary, it might not be. Just, that's what I did. Okay, so you can see we've added the box and I'm going to move this up about right there. Okay. So, now that we have the front of the box, we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer and drag it below it. And you want it below it because this is going to be that left side of the box that you see that kind of makes it look like it has an inside to it. Okay, so to do that, we're going to rename the layer to left first because this is the left side of the box. And we're going to take our, you choose uh, your move tool, you go to edit, transform, skew. And you just pull this side down, top left one down, and you drag this one over and you move it down again so that it kind of and you drag this one over, now you don't want to move it yet because you want to keep this level and you just drag it up about like so and this is too tall so I'll drag it down and you want to try to make sure you keep it as straight as possible and you can see it's starting to look kind of like a box and drag it down about like that and uh, that was wrong. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Pull that down. Pull this down. Perfect. I kind of like that look. You can see it's looking like a box. And this is the easy part. Now that you have one side perfect, you just duplicate that layer. You name it to right. And you choose edit, transform, flip horizontal. And you just hold down shift and you can drag it over and it pops into place. Perfect. So you can see the box is on its way. And so now we want to duplicate the front layer and move it down to the very bottom and rename it to back. So this is going to be the back of the box. And here we're going to click on the left side or the right side in this case. Hold down option and it'll bring both sides in at the same time. And we'll drag it up so that it matches the other one. And we'll turn off the visibility layer for the front and we'll just hold down and just drag it up till it matches the front and the back of the box and you'll see here it looks kind of like we're looking at a 3D hexagon but it's not <laughs> because see now you have this nice little box here but the only problem is if you see it has two pixels here so to do that you hold down you zoom in hold down option drag it out one pixel and you can see more and snap back over to where it was before and there you go. You can see that now. Actually, it didn't even fix it. I don't think. Yes, it fixed it. So we'll zoom back up to 100%. And perfect.
So now you see that our box is set. I'm just going to drag these four layers into a group and name it box. This way it's uh, you look at the box. So what I want to do now is link all these layers together. Now alternatively you could click on box and drag and it would link them all together. But I prefer just to link them all together in the first place so when I move one around it moves them all. Okay. So now we want to move the height of the box and make it not so tall and apply it and it automatically reverses or adjusts the layer style. So now you see that we have a box here and you could add shadows and stuff, I don't want to do it because it takes too much time and this is just a basic video screencast but maybe I, I might make another one how to do it but this okay so the next point is to add our actual graphic here so go ahead and select it all and copy it and go back over here into the box layer underneath the front above the right and create a new layer and paste it here okay and here we want to just kind of rotate it about that much move it down shrink it or scale it I'm sorry and just get it to where it looks like it fits there okay that's perfect and now what we want to do is take the wand tool and just click on this and I'm going to show you it's a very time consuming job it only takes about 10 minutes though so it's not that time consuming I'm sorry but take the lasso tool hold down shift and just quickly zoom select around the points that it accidentally missed or didn't get so you can see you can do it very quickly and if it got a point that you don't want it to like right here it got the top of this other thing you turn down option and you just drag it over and it erases it so actually that's supposed to be deselected like so and you can see it's very easy and we want to add this back to it you can see so it's okay if you go outside the lines you just don't want to accidentally erase part of your document and so after you do that you will delete it and you can see the edges are quite rough so take your eraser tool I have mine at 50 pixels and just erase and it will smooth the edges off so you can see I'm just mine's coming out really bad but if you look at my actual icon you can see it came out quite nicely so even with the background so um, that's what you do you create it in my case I want to um, adjust the width okay and because it's it didn't come out right you see the icons actually a lot wider so but this one's not that great um, and then for the actual icon that goes on the front we create a new layer take a custom shape tool we actually do the custom shape tool and I got this one at the very bottom you could draw this out I mean you just saw how easy it was to make a box but just drag it out like so and rasterize the layer and here I'm just going to add a gradient overlay move it up so there's a little bit of shine on it and then you'll save it for web and devices actually I forgot to turn off the background layer so it's transparent and save for web and devices and choose ping 24 with transparency save it to like your desktop as whatever you want so I'll call mine uh, my folder and then you would go ahead and open up icon to IMGNS so icon I did it again bad clicking techniques but just drag it over here you notice it's created it you will create our folder We'll open it and you see my folder and if you drag it over down onto your dock you have your folder and if I add this ping to it you'll notice it added the background color and we don't want that so right click on it and choose display as a folder and it removes the background like all the files all the other files in it and it creates your stack that's all you have to do it's really easy I don't I'm gonna stop talking now thanks for watching and goodbye